Ice cream lovers, my name's Steve Christensen. Welcome to this video. We're gonna talk about IQF. What does it mean? IQF. Do you wanna thank our episode sponsor, Lockhead Vanilla, based right here in St. Louis, Missouri. Hundreds and hundreds of vanilla formulations, third generation company. Look, you too could be the lost Lockhead brother or sister by uh, clicking the link down below, looking at what they have to offer. Honestly, fantastic vanilla. We've been using them for over 20 years, lockheadvanilla.com. Thank you for your episode sponsorship. The link is down below. Okay, this uh, session, we're going to talk a little bit about IQF. What is it? Uh, is it preferable to fresh fruit? Now, there are a couple of different options when you want to actually add fruit to ice cream. And you know, a lot of people contact the office, say, hey, I wanna open up a store, I wanna do a very fruit-based ice cream. And the challenge is that because fruit's got so much water in it, it really does mess with the mouthfeel, with the butterfat content, particularly fruit that has a high, high water ratio, and strawberries is definitely one of those fruits. So here are your options. You can use fresh fruit, but fresh fruit can spoil a little bit easily. You've also got the onus to make sure that it's absolutely 100% food safe and clean. So you, you've really got to make sure that all of that fruit, if you're in a local growing area or you prefer to use that fresh fruit, that it is chemicide, what, chemicide, pesticide free, chemical free, and uh, safe for people to eat. On the other end of the spectrum is your uh, cooked fruit. It's almost like a jam or jelly fruit. This is kind of what it looks like. It's prepared, cooked in a number 10 can. The beauty of it is that it has color, it has flavor, but it does have that jammy appearance. So it's kind of like a little bit more of a smooth, jammy mouth feel. Uh, than your regular fresh fruit. So somewhere right in the middle is IQF or individually quick frozen fruit. That's what it means. IQF, individually quick frozen. Now you'll get it in uh, smaller bags like this, but you can also buy it obviously in bulk from a broadline distributor. We should do, what do they call those, Madeline? Is it ASMR? Hold it up, tear it off. <laughs> Bust it open. Bust it open. Bust it open. Look in the bag. <laughs> anyway, just boot scooting, just kidding around. Anyway, IQF means that each of these berries are individually quick frozen. So you can basically take them out, you can see them in the hand there. How they prepare these is they pick them fresh, they wash them, they de-hull them or take the, uh, the stem out. And then they run them through a liquid nitrogen shower. So basically all of the goodness and freshness, you can even smell the strawberries here, are basically locked into a very quick freezing process. They're not frozen in a lump. They're not frozen together when they are thawed. They're basically all individual in this pack. Upside is they store very easily. They can uh, be processed very easily. You can keep them in the freezer, use them for whenever you want. There's a lot of ease of use. Downside is, is that when they obviously thaw, um, the cell wall of a lot of the membranes uh, of the particles in the strawberry break down and so it looks more like a slurry with fruit in it rather than fresh fruit. But I'll tell you that probably this is probably the number one use of fruit that most ice cream makers use. IQF individually quick frozen fruit. You can get strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, mango, pineapple, peaches, the list goes on and on. So that's IQF. Your call as to how you want to use it. Um, I know that, again, the vast majority of ice cream uh, operators and makers use IQF. I should say, too, they're not using it in its frozen form. They let it thaw out, uh, and then they'll either use an immersion blender and make a uh, slurry or a puree out of it, uh, or they'll sugar it and so forth. So anyway, some uh, things to consider broad spectrum of use of strawberries, IQF is probably the most popular. I'm interested in what you are doing, so leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear about your use of strawberries and what you use IQF for and what you don't. Look, if you also have any conundrums or questions, problems in the ice cream industry, we love to answer them here on our channel. Leave a comment down below, and while you're down there, why don't you just hit subscribe and hit the bell and do all of those other little clickety-click things you know you people love to do. Clickety-click, clickety-click. Anyway,
anyway, that's all we have for this episode. Uh, thank you again to Lockhead Vanilla for their sponsorship. Their link is down below. And as we always say at the end of our videos, big wind up, big wind up. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video.